Tags are powerful tools for providing information or details. They can be categorized tags like door tags, floor tags, or room tags. They can be plain text with leaders and arrows, or they can be material tags. What really matters is how we can control and utilize them. So let's dive in and explore them more. As you already know, tags are 2D elements, so we should use them in 2D views like plans, in sections, or in elevation. It doesn't matter where you use them, all of the things that I'm going to talk about, you can use them in both of these views. But since this looks much better, I'm going to use all of them and I'm going to explain everything in here. There's just a very small point that you need to consider when you want to use 2D elements in 3D view. If you watched the previous video, you already know that if you want to use tags or any other annotation in 3D view, you need to first lock the view. If you're not familiar with that, make sure to watch that video. So I'm going to lock this view from this part. Let's just call it A and OK. Now to add material tags to this part, we need to go to annotate tab. In here, I'm going to select this material tag and I'm going to create one in here. Okay, let's first fix this question mark. I already know that this sofa, this furniture has a material. So if I select it and go to its edit type, I can see that this material is assigned to this sofa, to this furniture. So one reason for seeing this question mark could be because your object has no material assigned to that. So fix that first. The other reason could be because of the material itself. So if we go to the material browser and to the identity tab, we can see that this description is empty. I know that we already have this name, but material tags, the label used in the material tags is for material description. If you select your tag and go to its edit family, in this part, you can see that this label is for material tag. Select it and go to edit label. And in this part, you can see the material name. So to fix that question mark, you should either replace this description with this name or copy the name of the material for the description. I'm going to go with the second way because I don't want to modify this tag. So let's select the furniture and go to its edit type and to its material. And simply in this part, copy and paste this name for the description. Okay, and okay, perfect. Now, if you select your tag in this part, you can see that we have this leader line but we can't see it in here. This is because this text is over this line and its shoulder. So before changing any text size or changing this line, you need to make sure to fix this scale and then change everything. Because if you like set all of these things, set the font and the size of this line and all of the details in here and then if you realize that you need to change the scale you need to change all of these settings again so first i'm going to set it on this number and now we can change all of these settings in here i'm going to move this line to this part and if i move this shoulder to here i can put it anywhere i want let's just set it in this part this is much better, but I still feel like we are missing something for this tag. And that is some arrows in the end of this leader. If you can see your arrow, you can just simply select your tag and go to its edit type. In here, you have this leader arrowheads and you can set it on any type that you want in here. Let's see how it looks on this one. Apply and OK yes it looks good but i want to have like something simple maybe some dots this fill dot and okay okay it's good this is exactly the shape i want but the size of this arrow is a little bit too much for my scale and for this tag overall to fix that we can go to manage tab and to this additional setting in here in the annotation section you can see these arrow heads first i'm going to switch this type to this 
field dot and then i'm going to duplicate it i'm going to set it on one millimeter so i'm going to change its name according to that okay now the arrow style is on dot and we have fill thick so it is going to be filled exactly like this and from this part we can change this size i'm going to put it on one and okay we can't see any changes in here and it's because it is still set on fill dot three this number if you open this part you can see that fill dot one millimeter which is the one that we just created apply and okay yes this looks much better now the next step is to control the color or maybe the line style of this leader and for that we need to go to visibility and graphic press vv on your keyboard and then go to annotation categories in this part i'm going to click on m so i can find this material tag sooner and in this part we can change the pattern, the color, and the weight of the leader line. So I'm going to change this color to let's go with this one. And for controlling the pattern, we can go with either this aligning line or dash line or whatever type that you want. I also want to change this line weight and put it on three. Okay, and okay. And simply like this, we change the color and the style of this line. We see it like this because the scale is on 1 by 50 and if we change it to for example this one you can see all of this dashed line and the style of this line much better as you saw the second i changed this scale the font size and the arrowhead size changed and although we have this line style in here and it looks much better i don't want to change these to font size and the arrowhead so i'm going to back to this 1 by 50 and then i want to change the visibility and graphic of that line type so i'm going to go back to this section and i am going to set it on exactly this dot okay and okay yes this looks much better now i can just simply move these around and fix it exactly how i like to match the color of this text with this tag you need to select it and go to its edit family and in this part select this label go to its edit type and in this part you can control this label you can control this tag i'm going to put it exactly on the same color for the material tag setting and then you can change the line weight you can change the background you can put it on opaque or transparent i'm going to like leave it on this one and then you can create a border around it exactly like this and then from this part you can change the offset of the leader or the border with this number in the below section in the text section you can change the font of this text you can change the size of it you can make it bold italic or underline i'm going to just simply change the font to this one and that's all good for me okay and then load it back to this family perfect if you want to learn how you can fully control and manage the visibility and graphic of all of your views make sure to watch this video and if you find this video helpful make sure to like it and i will see you in the next video